What's up? Welcome back. And we are back to Crash Flow. Um, in my last video, I took you guys through the streets. We was ripping around, pushing. And uh, I know it's kind of funny right now. I'm in my towel in my house. But this video, I want to talk a little bit more about the things you can do when you're not skating to preserve your body. And I just got out of a hot shower. So I usually take a good hot 10 minute shower. And then I usually jump into a cold plunge or a cold pool or ice bath if I can. So I do 10 minutes hot showers and I do 10 minute cold ice baths. And that's just one of the things I do out of the many things to help preserve for my body after the years of years of skating and little injuries and stuff like that. These are some of the things I learned that would help me you know, throughout my injuries. So I'm gonna get up in this ice bath right now. Got this little pool. Here we go, hold up. Woo! Oh. It's not easy every time, but you grow a tolerance to the ice bath as you get better at it. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, there we go. And uh, woo. I've, been, I've been doing this for probably a good 10 or 15 years now. But for a long time, I would get injuries and not know what to do or not know how to do things that would help my body when I wasn't skating. And uh, over the years, I learned a lot of different techniques and this being one of them. So I usually do 10 minute hot showers and 10 minute ice baths, or at the least a cold shower, 10 minute cold shower. And I go to a lot of Russian bathhouses, so I'll do steam rooms. So you go back and forth. And I really, really think that that back and forth of hot and cold is really good for your muscles and conditions it. And what the ice baths do, is obviously most people know that if you have inflammation from injury or something the inflammation will go down but it also basically constricts your blood cells when you're in the ice bath which i can feel it doing now and then when you come out they dilute and they expand in your blood circulation and you can feel it throughout your whole body so this is something i'll do once a week because you know if i'm skating every day or you know even if i'm not injured or anything if i'm skating every day it just you know, revives my whole body and you don't even feel sore the next day. Sometimes it just helps me so much. And so many pros do this, but not everybody knows because it takes a lot of like trial and error and process through skating to find these things out. And I didn't know about little things like this when I was a kid, so I could have used that. So I hope that brings value to you guys, you know, because there's a lot of different things that I do, you know, outside of skating to condition myself. This being one of them. Another being stretching and yoga specifically more, but I do, I mean, all kind of stretching, but I do about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes a day before I skate. And then on the average, I'll do about an hour of stretching a day, if I can before and after I skateboard, but definitely before. And uh, I usually do about an hour of yoga every day as well. And another big thing that really helps me, that's conditioned my body that I learned through the years was swimming. Swimming is one of the most important things and the best things for your body when you're not skating because it actually conditions almost every muscle in your body. And in skateboarding, you don't think about it, but you're actually, you are using almost every muscle to gain speed, to ollie, to jump, your, your arms, everything's in motion. Woo, <laughs> it's cold. But yeah, so that those are three things that I do, that I constantly do. And it took me a while to find those things because luckily through skating, I've, I've learned a more mind-body awareness and I got to know about these things. And this ice bath is just one of the things that I do and I wanted to share that with you because I think it's got a lot of value. So I would recommend that if you could do an ice bath once a week, if you're skating hard, if you're, if you're just getting into skating or if you have injuries, it always helps and it uh, revi revives your whole body and you wake up the next day ready to go, ready to keep skating. So that's it, that's the three part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm enjoying my <laughs> ice bath right now, but um, yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making more content, more stuff to uh, engage with people, and, and about skating and things you can do with your skating. And I hope you like this. If you do, subscribe to the, my YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep keep dropping more free videos. So, hope you guys got some value out of these videos. Take care. Bless up.